Welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Duralast QS. Build your mech to last with Duralast. Okay, so last episode our main lance took a, took a uh, hard hit. Well, not really a hard hit, but, you know, we did lose that base defense mission. That was a tough fight. You know, if, I think if we had one more turn, I mean, we still would have lost, but we probably would have done a lot more damage to the enemy as well. Unfortunately, they just had overwhelming numbers and overwhelming firepower. Not much we could really do about it. So, I mean, well, we did a pretty good job clearing them out. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to go with the command center here. Command. We're going to go and take this uh, three and a half skull blackout mission, I think, today. We're going to take the secondary lance down. We're going to go full salvage on it. We're doing okay here. I did go ahead and spend a bit of money on getting the um, machine shop. So that is currently underway. That's plus three tech which is really nice. So let's go with load and we're taking the um, I called it B-Lance, right? Pretty sure it did. Yeah. And I think we're going to take uh, we're going to drop out the stealth today because I want to try bringing um, now do we have a pilot for this too? I don't think we really do have a melee pilot. So we'll leave Road Rash in for now, but we're going to bring the Rabid Wolf here. Or Rabid Coyote, sorry. And the Rabid Coyote, uh, hot, hot seat cockpit, uh, sensors with searchlight, fire control system, blood sport, uh, combat shield and vibra sword were already built in, supercharger in the engine, clan armor, because we do have um, a pair of SRMs uh, in the right torso with some acid ammo and MRMs in the left torso with some acid ammo tag and then of course we've got the battle fists on both hands so we're going to take this in see how well we can do with melee 275 core I mean it isn't that fast but um, I mean it's got a 5.8 movement 5.7 something like that so hopefully with the supercharger we can get it into range I'm going to try it out see how that works out today but uh, let's deploy and get this sucker done actually we got um, Taking the Hetzer, we take in. Ooh, I think so. Or the Ferret. Two and a half skulls. Or sorry, three and a half skulls. We're ranked at what, two? I mean, we're over two for sure. Uh, yeah, let's take the ferret instead. Let's go with that. I'm going to try and save the uh, save the Hetzer for the primary lance. Let's run with the ferret in this one. Let's go. Mm, yeah, I know. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Starting back a little further this time. Uh, yeah, same base. Well, at least it gives us some time to set up. Let's, uh, move up here. And hope we don't get pasted by these friggin' turrets. I'm rolling. Um, so the Rabid Coyote... Okay, it's not too, too bad movement. We're going, we are going through some trees. If I turn the supercharger on... So that's bonus to... 50% run multiplier. Let's just... I want to test it here. So we'll turn it on this turn. So it's not too bad. Heading out. That's not too bad. Now the avatar is obviously dog slow. Um, let's get you up over here. Affirmative. And let's get you... There, I guess, for now. I'm there. I think this time I'm going to go with my vehicles into the uh, into the uh, activation spot. I think I want to clean up on this side over here. So I want to turn this off. Roger. Yeah, I see it's like 20% failure after the first turn. Pretty brutal. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna bring you guys down. They've got speed, so... Confirmed. Copy that, Commander. I think we're almost in range. Let's see how the mechs do here. Let's get you into here. Yeah, Centurion's still kind of out of range there. Let's get you back here. Avatar's still way out. I copy. All right, you guys can just sit there for a second. All right, but I'm itching to go. Yeah, we're all itching to go. Um. Up there. The scent. Let's get him down the trees. Affirmative, Commander. This guy's not that great against turrets, but we'll put you back here for now. I think you can still go after that turret. Let's put you in here. I think we're ready. I don't think this is close enough, though. Moving out. Find out here in a second. Yep, one or two. Two or two. Here we go. Find out what we're up against. Let's look up on ahead and we will find something at the other base. Oh. So that's, there's nothing going on here. So, let's hope they get a really good lance drop in the other base. Okay, I'm going to... Maneuver our guys up over here, and I'll come back when uh, when we when we get everybody up there. Move order received. All right, here we go. Just crushing the top of the hill now. Let's get these guys into positions On up here. Way. The big gun up here. I'm rolling. Um, I'm really concerned with where this uh, coyote's moving here, but On it. just that it's a it's like melee, right? So. Not really in the best positioning. All right, let's go. Hopefully it's not turrets, but we'll see. We shall see. We're glad to see you. Nice, so they do have a dropship coming in. Is it just the one? That's the Rem Hetzer. Well, that's not good. Christ, these guys might kill the four buildings before I get a chance to go. Well, this will be interesting. Hunchback. 4X. Yeoman. That's a lot of LRMs. I'm assuming they're LRMs, but we'll see. Um, Standing by. let's try and get a shot off here. Oh, uh, God. Okay. Get into here. Let's go after somebody that hasn't gone yet. Wow, that's terrible. Let's see here. Drill scent, man. That's like... That's a great shot, though. That's a lot of SRM-6s. I mean, technically, if we land this, it could be a kill shot. Let's try it. Firing on target. Well, we got the tag on, at least. Got some mines over there. Hopefully it does a little damage. I'm out of short-range missiles. Not a bad spread. Yeah. 140 damage. What are your orders, Skipper? I need you to shoot somebody. All right, let's move up. Man, we're in bad range here. I'm gonna try and kill this guy. Uh. Yeah. See, we hit the... How do we hit the other side? Whatever. Let's see what you got. We missed. Wow. Alright, well, whatever. Receiving you. 
Okay, well, let's turn you on. Get as far as we can go. You got to get over there. God, whatever. Yeah, you're in the wrong spot. I just had no way of knowing if these were turrets and stuff down here. We're going to shoot the same guy. We get the best chance to hit, so... Let's just fire. Yeah, how are we hitting the other side? I know we're kind of shooting from the front, but still, it's like... Not everybody's shooting from the front. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going for the turret. Waiting for orders. A lot of random damage. Can I get a solid line on that, Hetzer? Quick statement. Trying to finish it off here. Same, same. 65 on the Hunchback. Two X pulses and a light AC-20. Taking the shot. Alright, we landed one. Not bad. Waiting for orders. Alright, let's get that big gun up here. Roger that. Where's that hunchback? I think this guy's the real threat. That's a big gun. Go with everything on turn one. See what we can get on this guy. Confirm. Landed one. Well, at least the Baraji's there. I'm out of SRN. Cleared the minefield for them, though. Confirmed. One of the reasons why we got to get rid of those mines. Um. Crap, we got a minimum move distance and I can't move here. That's not bad. I'm gonna try and shoot that Hetzer again. Hopefully we get a bonus uh, to initiative next turn, but I don't think so. We'll see what happens. Let's just shoot this guy. Affirmative. Got him. All right, cleaned up one. Tango is trash, Skipper. Okay, turret's coming in. Nice. Looks like they penned there. That's a lot more missiles. Ooh, that's nice too. Okay, he's unstable. Yes. Hammer him. Going down. Alright, that kind of solves our problem. Let's just see what this Grilson does here. He's coming around this side. Orders. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Get in as far as we can. I'm going to get in the oh, yeah. open here. Maybe we can get them to shoot me. I'm going to shoot this guy. It's not the best chance to hit, but hopefully we can draw his attention. That's a lot of MM, MMLs and LRMs. Well, it's not that bad, I guess. I copy. Okay, well, he knows I'm here. Look at the thing. It's good to go. It's so whack looking. Like, I mean, I can't zoom in on it, but let's just fire at him. He's so... Look at look at the thing. All four hit. Nice. Waiting for orders. I'm not going to move because I want to give them something to shoot at, you know? Target confirmed. Ah, the AC missed. Man, it, really? With all that great chance to hit and you got nothing? Really? I'm out of LRM. I'm going to be out of a job in a minute. Okay, we got the light AC on this guy. AC is here. Let's take the shot. See if we can get the get the uh, destruction of that uh, auto cannon. Nope, but we did some good damage. My LRMs are out. I don't know if we actually hit that location though. Did we? We did. Ready to rock. All right, iron sides. You can't get up that way. Damn, I thought you could. 
Get into here. Thought he, I honestly thought he could get up there. You think I remember that from before, though? I thought this was an access, but maybe it's because he's um, hover. Ten four. All right, some good damage. Just gonna take a shot at the building. Nope. Ooh, rabid coyote. Oh, he was using incendiaries. This isn't looking too good. I was wondering why he was, uh... And he punched out. Sure. Yes, Commander. Works for me. Let's try and tie this guy up so this guy doesn't become one of those, uh... Wild cards that decides to destroy a building or something. Oh, shit, he's got a barrage on him. Oh, well. No big deal. Wind it up. Let's hammer him. Hopefully he'll target me this turn. I think this guy's dead. It's too bad it wasn't two lances that were dropped. Well, the AMS tried. Ow. Whole side's gone. I didn't take that much damage. There he comes. You better not be shooting a turret. Nope. That's a lot of damage. Receiving you. That's a lot of damage. Now, that's a really crappy chance to hit. Let's go for the kill. Confirmed. Uh, just gonna core this guy. Taking the shot. Or to get him to bail out too, that works. Receiving you. Alright, it's vigilance you. Now, supercharger back on. How far can you get? Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Down there. I don't think we can do anything. Wow, look at the chance to hit. Watch my Shit. Heat. I'm taking damage. Reporting overheat. Shutting down. How much you can do about that? Um, I'm gonna vigilance you. You got a big gun. I'm hoping we can get ahead of this guy next turn. Now, we do have incendiary. 27% or 46. Nah, let's go with this one. He's really badly damaged. We'll leave the infernos on down here, though. I'm on him. Oof. Receiving you. So that's our last building there. Okay. I don't feel bad about killing this one now. On the move. Right? Wow. On it. Okay, we got one on. I'm receiving you. Don't hit the rabid coyote, whatever you do. He's got good back armor, but still. Just don't shoot him. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, that's Target it for that. Down. That was easy. Mission successful. Well, I mean, it was what it was. I was really hoping... I, I don't know, man. We're getting some pretty chintzy missions at the uh, Three and a Half Skulls. There's the full Hunchback. We could just take that. The Light ec 20 is there, though. I think I would rather just have that. Look at the stats on this thing. 21 heat. Okay, it's a little warm. One evasion pip ignored. 15% jam chance mitigated by gunnery, which you can get up over 10. Right? When you max your gunnery out, if you got a couple of, um, like a clan cockpit and uh, fire control system, 
That's another two, so it's 12. So it's only a 3% chance to jam. It's jam, not misfire. Right? So doing 100 damage at 420 meters for 8 tons, it's insane. Like what I would have done for the light AC-20, maybe drop the damage down to 70, like 75, but give it an extra like 60 meters range or something. But don't give it the evasion ignored or jam chance or any of that stuff. But leave the weight, you know, like around, I don't know, like 11 tons or something. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird kind of thing. All right, we've got one light engine. We're okay there. Do we have double heat sink kits? It's a prototype double heat sink kit, though. I think we need to take this. we got prototype double heat sinks. I'm definitely grabbing those. Now we got precision ammo down here for the for the 20. I think I'm going to grab that as well. SRM Acid. Do we have... Yeah, we got one incendiary left. Don't have any case list. I think I got AP. No, I don't have any AP left either. The light engine would be nice, but we already have one, so. X pulses. Mm. This guy's a 60 tonner. They didn't have much weight for three and a half skulls in this unit. Anyway, let's go this route. All right, we got to drill some part, two hunchback parts. We got lots of hunchback parts. Yeoman parts, large laser, which I guess we'll keep. LRM 10, we've got two. I think we can get rid of that one. SRM 6, let's hold on to it. Armor can go. Case, we've got, let's just, I'll sell it. Coolant flush we'll hold on to. Endo uh, we'll hold on to. 200 core, we've got one, so we can sell that one. 240, we've got one. Yeah, let's just sell that one. Uh, heavy jump jets will keep. Caseless ammo, okay. LRM dead fire. Do we have any of this? No. Alright, so we got a few things that that can go to. Got a few things, made a few C bills. Not bad. Alright, so like nothing for repairs. Well, sorry that was so quick, but uh, we didn't get a chance to see, to see the Red Bad Coyote wreck anybody, but next episode with these guys be after the next episode, so two episodes from now. We're going to bring forward, um, let's go to the mech bay real quick. I got the Orion loaded out. So we'll probably do a swap here. I'm going to put these two guys up in here for now. We're going to bring these two into the mainlands, I think. And there's a four skull mission we'll do next, which is our, our recovery mission. Hopefully there's a lot of competition. The Orion's going to be an interesting build. It's a bit unconventional. I did manage to get the rotary in there. The... Um, heavy rotary rifle in there so that's in there and I've also got a plasma cannon in there the uh, 10 ton pirate AOE plasma cannon and I can't remember what else is in there there's a couple of smaller weapons in there as well um, yeah because we got we got a missile system in there I can't remember what else I put in there but my my thought is that we'll fire off the rotary one turn because it's going to be an issue with heat right there's like the heat sinking is is going to be a little bit out so, one turn we're going to fire off... Oh, sorry, there's a snub nose PPC in this as well. So we're going to fire off the rotary. Um, and probably the snub, if they can both go at the same time. I'm not exactly sure how hot the rotary is going to get, but we'll find out when we, when we fire it off. But that and the snub will go off. Then the next turn, we'll, we'll leave those off and fire the plasma cannon. So we can drop our recoil, which is going to be a 12... It's 12 recoil when we fire all six shots. So drop the recoil and just fire the plasma cannon. And then the turn after that, we'll switch back to the, the two main weapons again. So hopefully we can keep the rotary from jamming and keeping it like every second turn firing six rounds. And if we need to fire it again, like for whatever reason, we'll fire it again. And it's got, you know, a wide variety of... Um, it's got two different types of ammo. I think I've got... There's regular ammo, and I think it's AP. I'm pretty sure it's AP ammo. So we've got two types of ammo to fire with it. And there's like five tons in there, so that should be enough for like... I think, I can't remember how many turns that is. Ten turns, I think, in total or something like that of firing. And I think if we go longer than ten turns of firing with that thing, then we're doing something wrong. Um, 
unless we're facing a ton of opponents. But even then, like, let's say we do run out of ammo or the weapon gets destroyed for whatever reason, we still have that plasma cannon. I think the PPC, the snub is on this side with the rotary, and I put the PPC on this side, and I can't remember what else I've dropped in here. There's something else in here as a secondary on this side, and we're going to use this side to shield with if we have to. Uh, and keep these two main weapons like firing as much as we possibly can, but keep the plasma cannon as the shield arm. I was going to put it on this side and kind of block this side, but then I thought, nah, the, the snub nose PPC is probably more valuable than the plasma cannon. And if we're like, since it's an AOE plasma effect, right, I got to be careful and selective where I use it because I don't want to be like getting my own guys. So it might not get used a whole heck of a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot for 10 tons. It's nice to have it on that, um, the vehicle. So we've got it in the, uh, is it the yellow jacket? Yeah, it's the yellow jacket that has it. Yeah, the, the pirate plasma cannon, right? So it's nice to have it here as a, like, because if this thing can't fire, it can't fire, and no big deal, right? We're not wasting it. But 10 tons on that uh, Orion. So the problem was with the rotary there, like it's, we had the two rotaries on the um, Avatar a few episodes back. And trying to fire them both off max just basically overheated the shit out of us, right? So one rotary should be fine, I hope. But I had no idea. Like I, I've got no idea. Because the, plas the plasma cannon is like 56 heat, I think. Is it 56 or 54? Somewhere around in there. It's 50. And then the snub is 30. And the rotary, I can't remember what the rotary was. But it stacks per shot. I think the heat said, was it 20 for two shots? So it could be 60 heat for all the shots or it could, it's probably higher. I think I can't remember what it was. I think it's pretty high. Maybe it's, no, sorry. I think it's 24 heat per two shots. So we're looking at 72 heat if we fire all six. I think that's close to what it was. So I think my thought was it was the rotary that was going to fire and then the plasma cannon and the PPC. But Because I, I don't have the heat sinking to be able to do any more than that per turn. Like if we decide to fire the PPC and the plasma cannon, I'm going to be overheat. Or Sorry, the PPC and the rotary, I'll be overheat. And then the next turn it would be the plasma cannon and I would drop a bit of heat. So, I mean, it's really going to... We'll see how it turns out. Anyway, that's for the next episode for these guys. So I'm going to leave this one here. Next time when we come back, I'm going to have to advance the timeline a couple of days because we do have Metal that's injured. He's got to come back. And we did get... I might as well just show you now before the next episode. Nice we did get the, um, the, the Panther refit from the last time. Now, the only thing we lost... It was a bizarre thing because we didn't... Our pilot punched out and we lost this side so we lost the small Rex laser that we had in here so I don't have another one to replace it with so I put an ER medium in and then we lost the fire control system evasion up here which takes two off the enemy evasion and I didn't really have a good fire control system to replace it with so I ended up with a fire control system standard uh, clan which gives plus one gunnery but these two I had in storage, which was exactly what was already here. And that's all we lost. I was, I'm actually really shocked. We had the double heat sinks to replace. We've got a few of them left. But we had double heat sinks I could replace them with. So it's pretty much back to the way it was. Except that um, I dropped the zoom from a zoom 2 to a zoom 1. Because these are all within 540 meters accuracy. Right? This is what? 480... The Rex is like 420, I think. Yeah, and then this is like 540, 480. So we're all within the enhanced zoom range. Now, the only thing that isn't is the rack and fire a little farther, but I'm not really that worried about the rack because they're going to be shooting mostly when we're close anyway. But anyway, that, that got recovered pretty much back to the way it was. I was kind of shocked. I thought for sure we were going to take, uh, like, lose a lot more, but I'm kind of glad now the pilot bailed out because if he hadn't, if he stayed in, we could have lost a lot of stuff. But anyways, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Sorry it was so short, but, uh, you know, hopefully the next battle will be a little tougher. All right, until next time, we'll see you all later.
Thank <laughs> you.